BC, we serve 92% Latinx students, which is the greatest in comparison to the other 115 colleges. In addition, our faculty and classified and administrator uh, population is the most diverse in comparison to the other colleges in the system. I have the privilege of have uh, attended Impro Valley College, graduated from this institution. It was my only opportunity to pursue higher education and it continues to be the only opportunity for the majority of our students. I take that responsibility extremely seriously. I am an immigrant. I came to the United States when I was 15 years of age. I did not speak English, had to speak, learn English as an adult. Had to really transition my life post high school uh, and really start from the beginning. So IBC uh, not only provides opportunities for high school students that are ready to go to college, but many students like myself that had to reinvent ourselves after high school and be able to come here, start from the beginning. But the investment of time, the help that I got from mentors, from faculty, from everyone involved in providing services to kids like me at the time, really made an impact in my life. I love IBC, I am IBC, and come and work for IBC. I made the decision to transition from the K-12 sector, which I'd, I'd done for over 15 years, uh, because I felt that the community college here in the Imperial County is really one of the most powerful educational systems that a student can have here in our community. I believe that IBC is it's a place where students can have the opportunity to grow, expand their knowledge, but not only that, uh, complete a degree if they, if they want to, whether it's a career education, take general education courses, or transfer to their desire university of their choice. It's really about you know trying to educate students to realize that there's a bigger place out there. And that's tough, you know, in a lot of ways because a lot of it has to do with not just, you know, growing intellectually, which hopefully inspires you, but also about uh, working through, you know, sometimes family, culture, religion, all those things play into what keep people sort of insulated. Um, and to help students understand that they can still hold on to those things, but still broaden their wings to, to step to another area, I think is really powerful. And I think IBC does give them the mechanism to do that. I'm Latina, I'm queer, I'm first generation. Um, and so I'm also a third year doctoral candidate at San Diego State University. And so it's been such a great opportunity to work with um, a diverse group of leaders um, and employees at IBC. So I was interviewed uh, for a counseling position and it was a great experience because there was very, um, very diverse in the representation of those interviews. So I was expecting three people for a part-time position and to my surprise it was a multitude of people. And then that says a lot about the institution in terms of its commitment to sustaining that inclusion and promoting that equity lens. I really questioned whether or not I belonged here at the college and it wasn't because people weren't welcoming, everyone was really welcoming, um, it was just something about myself. But the environment that everyone created here was just that, it was everyone so supportive, everyone wants you to succeed, everyone wants you to move forward and that's regardless of class of where you are, it goes from students, faculty, staff to administrators to even our own president. It's something that I've never experienced before living in LA, living in Riverside, living in Long Beach. You know, it's it's not the same, right? You you see someone, a student or a coworker or a um, you know, a colleague in, in education and you know, you're never going to see them again. And here it's a different complete just different perspective, you know. You're out in the store and you see your coworkers, you see your students. And uh, you know, there's been more than a few times where this community aspect has really come and, and into my personal life and touched and helped me. You know, had I known this, you know, this would be another really attractive point to living and working in a place like this. We all have the best for the students at mind. You know, for those who really care about helping and seeing students grow, this is an amazing place to be. We show them that, you know, regardless of circumstances, from rich to poor, that we care about them all as human beings and we do the best we can uh, to try and help them actualize or realize their dreams and goals. And I think that's the best part about it. We're a border region between Calexico and Mexicali, and so that creates a different type of diversity 
those of people that are interested in working with this unique in this unique environment is really, really important, I think. Your coworkers are not just your coworkers, but they are people that you can catch up with, that you could talk to when you see them out and about in the community. You have that small town community that you want, but you're also really close to a lot of fun things around us. Um, you're really close to San Diego, you're really close to Mexicali, you can go to Mexico, you can go to Rosarito. It's, it's just a really cool place when you're looking for adventure. One of the things that I love about the Imperial County is really the quality of life for folks. Um, if you come here with a family or to, to raise a family, this is truly a place that, that's designed to do that. Throughout my career, I have met a lot of people that have come from outside the area, and uh, I'm very happy to say that most of them, not everyone, but most of them, once they're here and they recognize the value, the richness of, of our Imperial Valley, of our culture, of our food, of our organizations, and what an impact we have in our community, in our students, uh, in our senior citizens across the board. Many of them don't leave. They become permanent residents of Imperial Valley because we are a very special place in California. We are committed to ensuring that if you commence a career at this institution and if you would like to continue growing as a professional, that we will support you through that journey because my own personal story reflects that you can start as a student and become the next president of Imperial Valley College. And you know what? We've got the best Mexican food anywhere in the world. That's no joke. <laughs>